Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at the sum of the interior angles of a triangle. We have in triangle ABC the measure of angle A is 2x plus 7 degrees, the measure of angle B is 4x plus 3 degrees, and the measure of angle C is 3x plus 8 degrees. And we need to find the measure of each angle of this triangle. So now we need the following theorem. We need that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So for our triangle ABC, we have that angle A measures 2x plus 7 degrees. And we have the measure of angle B is 4x plus 3 degrees. And finally, we have the measure of angle C is 3x plus 8 degrees. And now, we need to use this theorem to find the exact measure of each of these angles because they're in algebraic form right now. So now we could set up the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees allows us to say the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. So now all we need to do is substitute for each of these angles. We have the measure of angle A is 2x plus 7 degrees. The measure of angle B is 4x plus 3 degrees. So we can substitute for angle B. And finally, we substitute for angle C. We have the measure of angle C is 3x plus 8 degrees. And when we add all of this together, it'll equal 180 degrees. So now, in order to find the measure of each of these angles, we need to solve for x. But we're solving for the variable x, not x degrees. So in some sense, we could cancel out this degree symbol on each of these terms. It's like we're dividing both sides by degrees, and it'll cancel out all of these symbols. So now we have 2x, 4x, and 3x. Well, 2x plus 4x is 6x, 6x plus 3x is 9x. So we have 9x, and we have 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 8 is 18. So we have 9x plus 18 equals 180. So now to solve for x, we can subtract 18 from both sides, and this gives us 9x equals 162. So now I'll bring this equation over here, and we have 9x equals 162. So to solve for x, we divide both sides by 9, and we have x equals 162 divided by 9 is 18. So now we're not done. We need to take this x value, x equals 18, and plug it in for each of these angles to find the exact angle measure. So we have the measure of angle A, write this a little bit more to the left, section this off. We have the measure of angle A equals 2x plus 7 degrees. But remember, x is 18, so we're going to replace x with 18. So 2x plus 7. So you have 2 times 18 plus 7 degrees. And now 2 times 18 is 36. So we have 36 plus 7 degrees. So the measure of angle A is 43 degrees. And now for the measure of angle B, we substitute again. The measure of angle B is 4x plus 3 degrees. So we have 4x, or 4 times 18, remember, we found x equals 18, so 4 times 18 plus 3 degrees. So now 4 times 18 is 72, so we have 72 plus 3 degrees, so altogether we have 75 degrees. And now finally for angle C, we have the measure of angle C is 3x plus 8 degrees. So once again, we're replacing x with 18. We have 4, I'm sorry, we have 3 times x. So we have 3 times 18 plus 8 degrees. And now 3 times 18 is 54. So we have 54 plus 8 degrees. And now 54 plus 8 is 62. So now that we have these three angles, we have the measure of angle A equals 43 degrees, the measure of angle B 
equals 75 degrees. And finally, we have the measure of angle C equals 62 degrees. So this would be the measure of each angle of the triangle. And now one more step I want to look at to check our answer. Let's add these three angles together. So we have 43 degrees plus 75 degrees plus 62 degrees. And when we add all of this together, we have 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. So we have a 0. We've got to carry the 1. And we have 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. And 12 plus 6 is 18. So when we add all these angles together, it brings us right back to 180 degrees. So we know that our answers check. Okay, well this is going to conclude this angle sum problem. Thank you all for watching and I hope this video was helpful.